Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV with probably my most important video of the year and that's how to protect your privacy with the iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Now this is extremely important because a lot of things are being tracked and I'm sure a lot of you don't even realize it yet. When I've done this video in the past with iOS 7 and 8, I noticed a few settings and as the years have passed, more settings are being added. And honestly, the only example I can really give you of how severe this has gotten is if you were going to a store with your kids, so you're going to a few different stores, Walmart, wherever, would you go up to a stranger and give them a map and say, this is all the different places I'm going to be, and then also give them an application that shows them basically all the different locations you're gonna visit in the future. So anytime you go anywhere else, they'll be able to look and see that's where you've gone, that's where you've gone, that's where you've gone. Well, that is a setting on this phone, and that is a setting that is enabled by default. And not only that, it's so hidden in the settings that most people will never even realize it was there. So this is how important this is. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end and you take these tips seriously and also share them on Facebook and Twitter. Share this video, let other people know because this way these companies can't just take our information and do what they want with it. Let's get started with this video. So for this video, what we're gonna do is open our settings application and we're gonna focus on the privacy tab. From here, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and we'll start with diagnostics and usage and the advertising. So we'll tap on diagnostics and usage. Now when you first boot up your device for the first time, you're given the option to send your diagnostics and usage information or to don't send it. And I set mine to don't send. And just to show you right here at the bottom of this little description of what this does, it says that the diagnostic data may include your location information. So whatever they collect may have your location involved in it. Now to show you here, if you tap on diagnostics and usage data, you can see how much stuff it does collect and it does this on a daily basis. And if you open them up, there's all kinds of code and numbers that there's no way you would know unless you were a developer or within Apple itself. So I feel like this is like signing off your information or signing off a contract without actually knowing what it says. Next, we'll go back to privacy. We'll tap on advertising. Now this one's a little bit tricky with the wording. It says limit ad tracking. And instead of turning off this setting, you actually have to turn it on to limit the ad tracking. So turn that on and you have an about advertising and privacy here. If you open that, you can read what it actually does and it's gonna take your account information, your name, your address, age, and devices registered to your account, download music, all this stuff. The following information may be used to assign you to target groups. So it's for the advertisements so they can basically target who gets what advertisements. Now, that's a lot of information to be handing out voluntarily and to random advertisers. So I turn this on. So we'll go back, limit ad tracking on, just to protect you from any kind of bad advertiser. Now I'm pretty sure there's a lot of security that goes in with this, but I'm still not going to offer that out to people I don't know. For the next bunch of settings, we're gonna scroll up to the location services tab. And obviously with your location here, you always wanna make sure that you're only sending out your location to trusted applications and not to applications you don't know. Like for example, I had an application that was an editing photo application and for some reason it wanted my location while it edited the photo. So I don't know what that was all about. So that app got deleted and of course you can control everything right here. You can do never while using the app or sometimes it gives you the option to always on, so you can have that set up as well. Next, if we scroll down to the bottom here, you can see we have system services, and if we tap on that, there's a whole slew of settings here. Some you want on, some you want off. I would just honestly recommend you look at them and read them for yourself and choose the ones you wanna have on and off. I'll just give you guys the ones I turn off. Location-based iAds, I turn that one off. I turn off frequent locations because that's the big one that worries me. Now this one here, it says right here, allow your iPhone to learn places you frequently visit in order to provide useful location related information. And the whole thing with this is why do I need my phone to remember, track, and all this stuff of my location of places that I frequently visit. Chances are if I'm frequently visiting these places, I know what's around it because I'm there all the time. So it doesn't make sense to me. And this is the one that gave me that kind of analogy where you're handing off your location and where you're going and 
places you've been to a stranger because you don't know where that's going. So turn that off, frequent locations, that's the big one. Again, the diagnostics and usage for a second time here, I turn that one off as well. Now, if you scroll down just a little bit more, there's a status bar icon. For some reason, that's all the way at the bottom, but you can read how these status bars would look and how they would work. You can see there's a purple color, a gray color, and a see-through purple outline. So you can read that. I turn my status bar on, that way up top you can kind of see when it's being activated or when it was, and then you can check quick. And that was pretty much it for this section. If you go back to the location services, and we go back to the privacy tab, you have a few applications that are basically the stock apps here and what you're sharing with them. So if we tap on contacts, you can see that my contacts are being shared with WhatsApp. I don't share it with Gmail. And if you have a lot of apps on your phone, you might see that your contacts are being shared with a lot of them. You wanna make sure that you're only sharing your contacts with the applications you trust and gave permission to. Same goes with your calendar, your reminders, your photos, your Bluetooth, everything. And another one here that kind of worries me is the microphone. Some applications require or request the access to your microphone when they have no reason to have a microphone involved, which makes me feel like they're listening in. And that's kind of a little bit weird, but a lot of people freaked out about the Xbox Connect always being on and listening. So if you do that with these, who knows if they are just randomly clicking in to see what's going on. That's a little bit of a stretch, but again, it's your privacy, so you do what you want with it. So hopefully you guys see the importance of this video, and if you do, share it with as many people as possible. Show them the link, share it on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, post it on forums, whatever you wanna do to get the word out to your friends and your family who own these devices so they can obviously disable and enable the settings for themselves because I'm sure most people don't even realize they existed. Now again, I'm gonna go back to that example at the beginning, you wouldn't hand off a map of where you're going and where you're going to be and then give them something that'll show you anywhere you're going and been to a stranger, obviously. Now Apple is a reputable company but you still don't know them personally so all the time we see on the news that you know a cop has done this or somebody from a big company has done that. So you never want your personal information in the hands of the wrong people. And I do feel that we're pretty safe with Apple and a lot of these big companies. But at the same time, it's your personal information and you're the one who should be offering it, not having it offered and you having to take it away. So just keep that in mind. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.